Hey guys, welcome to my channel. After a month of asking, it's finally here. I get putting it off because I'm a lazy piece of shit who likes to stay in bed all day. First off, is make a new layer. Then I use the color picker to select the colors on the face. It's the icon underneath the actual color. Then I fill in the lips and eyebrows. surface of your skin spreading like a wave waiting for the moment to begin nothing more to say even though i try and try again do you feel the same do you feel the same do you feel the same feel the same because i've been thinking on it i've been thinking on it now don't know how to numb it don't know how to tell myself to stop to add shadows i go into blend mode and if you scroll down you'll see soft light then make sure you're using the black for shadows then outline the face nose and lips Next, you create a new layer and make sure that it's a soft glow layer and make sure to place the soft glow layer underneath the soft light layer and begin to highlight the forehead, cheeks, nose and chin. Then we got to blend in the highlights, so there's a blending tool, but be sure to hold and scroll down on the brush till the flow reaches about 5% as it blends better. And explain there's a change in love. And don't come back when you said that you've had enough. Then I re-highlight the areas that I highlighted before and blend it in once more. That are times of my love, it's like a bullet train, now you want it back again. And I've been overthinking, I was hoping on and hanging on for us. Cause you left me like a spirit. Just a ghost of you to hold me through the dark. 
then we add a new soft glow layer and also change the color of the label to another color so it stands out because we're going to be using it for more detailing highlight using thinner lines i so not carefully outline the face then outline the other facial features did you say select the eye corner color and then I highlight the eye corners and the eyelids to make them stand out. Then I'm going to add more detail to the highlight and go into the brush chart and select the dotted underscore 2 brush and go over the highlighted areas with it. Now I use the blending tool to blend around the lips and eyebrows to make sure that highlight kind of blends in with the rest of the skin. I select the hard eraser and just go around the lines around the lips to make them more neat. And for the lips, use the colour picker tool to pick the lip colour, then lightly lighten the lips, making them glow a little. Oh, 
white to create that shiny look and just put little lines across the lips so it gives off that effect I won't wait this time no not now not again not much longer heavy weight words my mind all night is so hot not to ponder Let's make it last forever Cause the nights stay on It's true I feel the pressure Every time you're gone As long as it's Then I turn the opacity down to 50% And draw on little lines across the original white highlight um, I don't know why I do this I just think it looks much better when it's done <laughs> For the eyes, I use a lighter green as my Abby has green eyes, and the same goes for all eye colours as this makes the eyes look magical. Baby, she's too shy to come in. 21 and too hard to call it. Let's make it last forever, cause the nights stay on. It's true, I feel the pressure every time you're gone. Then I go over the white parts with white highlight to make the eyes seem less unrealistic. I make a new layer and place it underneath the soft light layer and add the final shadows to darken around the nose and darken by the ears. Add a new layer at the top, then using the airbrush, which gives you a more solid black shadow, just fill in underneath the chin, then after that you use the hard eraser to make the shadow look more neat. Slant so fruitful when the corners of my mind turn dark. Kiss me when the light goes out. Set your eyes on the setting sun. This is the turn around, turn around. This is the turn around, turn around. This is the turn around. When it's done, all you 
you have to do is select the layer and then you have the option to turn the opacity down to 50%, not 5. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and let me know what tutorial I should do next. Bye!